Good morning and welcome to class. Today is going to be an energizing, uplifting, full body vinyasa flow practice. I'm going to be moving a little bit faster pace in today's practice, and I'm also going to be giving less detailed cues. So if you're brand new to yoga, I recommend checking out our beginner playlist where we have over a hundred classes designed perfectly for you. Otherwise, if you've practiced yoga in the past and you're familiar with the poses, then I'm excited to have you join me for the practice today. I won't be using any props myself, but if you're used to using a couple of blocks as you come into a half splits or a pigeon pose, for example, then please grab the blocks and have them nearby or a pillow or cushion to sit on as we close out practice with a seated meditation. We'll begin our practice in Balasana, child's pose. Knees apart. Heels together, walk the arms forward, and let the head hang heavy. Take a deep breath in, fill up your lungs all the way to the top. And exhale, open mouth, release. Take two more deep breaths, just like that. Feel the lips and start to engage your ujjayi breath. And take the next five breaths here in stillness as you relax and melt into balasana. knowing that you're starting your day with the blank canvas, a fresh start. Letting go of anything that happened yesterday or the past week or month. Today is new and fresh. So let's Paint this blank canvas with lots of beautiful imagery, lots of love, lots of compassion for ourselves for showing up today to start our day by moving in our body and connecting with our breath. Walk both of your hands off the left side of your mat. You can pin down your right hand with the left. And take a couple breaths here as you breathe into the right side rib cage. Walk both of your hands to the right side of your mat. Pin down the left hand with the right, and again, a couple deep breaths. Walk your hands back to center. Come up to a tabletop. We'll begin with a little wrist warm up. So bring both of your fingers of your hands to point towards the outside edge of the mat. Bring the wrist just a couple inches apart and keep the arms straight. Start to make some big circles around the wrist. Switch directions on the circle. Now come onto the backs of the hands, the fingertips point towards the knees. And again, keep the arms straight, and then gently start to sit back. Maybe the wrist lift off. You can sway left and right. 
And back to tabletop. Spine balancing. Right arm reaches forward, left leg sends straight back. So both your right arm and your left leg are parallel to the ground. You have a little bit of engagement in the core, so you're not letting your belly sink down to the ground. And now we're going to start to make a quarter clock circle with both our arm and our leg. So bring the right arm over to your right and left leg over to the left, still trying your best to keep both of the limbs parallel to the ground. And then again, bring it back. Right arm straight overhead, left leg straight back. Let's do two more. Out to the side, front and back. Out to the side, front and back. Keep the left leg lifted, right palm comes back down to the ground. Bend the left knee and start to make some big circles with the left leg. And back to tabletop. Spine balancing on the other side. Left arm reaches straight forward, right leg shoots straight back. Take a couple breaths here to find your stability. And really try to reach your left fingertips forward and right heel back. And we'll begin with those quarter clock circles. So left arm out to the left, right leg out to the right, and bring it back. Two more, out to the side, front and back. Out to the side, front and back. Left palm down, bend the right knee, big circles with the right leg. Back to tabletop, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, downward dog. Pedal out the legs, one leg at a time. And then begin to bend both of your knees, bring the hips close to the heels. And then straighten the legs, roll through the spine to high plank. Again, bend the knees, hips to heels, lengthen the upper body, and then again, start to straighten the legs, roll through the spine. High plank, let's do three more. Hips to heels, roll through, high plank, hips to heels, roll through, high plank, Last one, hips to heels, roll through. High plank, knees up or down, lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes and inhale, baby cobra, chest lifts off, palms lift off, and exhale, lower down. Let's do nine, eight, lift and lower. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one. We're going to hold here on the lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Last four, three, two, and one. Chest lowers down. Tuck the toes under. Engage the quads to lift the knees. Press it up. High plank. Downward dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Forward fold, back of the mat. Feet are about hip distance apart. Interlace the hands behind the back and bring them up over your head. Let the head hang heavy. Release the arms back down to the ground, and then pivot the feet, the toes, to point outwards, 45 degrees or so, and lower the hips, Malasana Yogi Squat. Bring the palms together, hands at the heart. So the hips are low. It's okay if they're a little bit higher. 
especially it's early morning, so you might be extra stiff. All good. Just work with what you have in each breath, in each pose. So reach the crown of the head up towards the sky. And then release the hands down. Start to straighten the legs. Come all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. You can keep the feet where they're at, pointing outwards. Interlace the hands together above the head. Engage the glutes. Take a slight back bend. Inhale back up to standing. And exhale back down to yogi squat. Release. Exhale forward fold. Roll all the way back up to standing. Inhale. Interlace the hands, Kali Mudra. Engage the glutes, send the hips forward. Inhale, back up to standing. And exhale, release, Malasana. Let's do three more. Rise up to standing, big breath. Interlace the hands. Engage the glutes, send the hips forward. Inhale, back up to standing. And exhale, release, Malasana. Inhale to standing. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, back up to standing. Release, Malasana. Last one. Inhale. Back to Malasana. Forward fold. Straighten the legs. Heel to the feet again, hip distance apart. The feet are now parallel to the outside edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen. And exhale, walk your hands to the top of the mat. Downward dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, open, stack the hips. Find as much length as you can from your wrists all the way up to the hips. Start to bend the left knee, the left heel lifts off. Exhale, right knee comes to the left wrist. Pause here. Push the ground away, round the back. Bring the right knee up to the right armpit. Again, pause here. Flex the right foot, step it outside the right hand, lizard lunge. Bring back Ujjayi breath if you lost it. Gently set down the left knee. Reach back with the right hand and grab the outside of the left foot for a thigh stretch. Three breaths here. Gently release the back foot. Back to lizard lunge. Stack the feet, side plank on the left. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Push the ground away. Really reach with your right fingertips up towards the sky. Lift your right foot up off the left, bend the right knee. Step the right foot to the top of the mat, low lunge. Set down the left knee. Interlace the hands behind the back. Take a little bit of a back bend. Send the hips forward and down. And release the hands, half splits. Right toes reach up towards the sky. Maybe windshield wiper the right foot. With each inhale, you find a little bit more length in the spine. You're reaching the head forward. And each exhale, you can melt down a little bit more over the leg. Two more breaths here. Rebend the right knee. Left palm touches down, revolved side angle. So tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee up. Right arm to the sky. Good 
Try to sink the hips low. Gaze back down towards the left hand. Come onto the knife edge of the left foot, wild thing. Step your right foot back behind you. Lift the hips. As you exhale, right palm comes back down to the ground, making our way into pigeon pose. So bring your right knee close to the right wrist. Gently set down that front leg. If you use props for this usually, then you can grab them, of course. And when you're ready, slowly start to walk yourself down to any degree. We very, very rarely teach pigeon pose because it's a lot of twerk on the front knee. So be really mindful here of your front knee. Keep a little flexion in your right foot. By that, I mean pull your toes up towards your knee. So you have a little more stability in the knee joint. Last two breaths here. With the help of your hands, start to lift yourself back up. And now you're gonna come onto your right hip Pivot towards the left side of your mat. Keep that left leg straight, and then just bring the right heel into the groin. Flex the left toes so the toes point up towards the sky. Start to reach your left arm towards your left foot, and then right arm reaches up over your head for a side bend to the left. Inhale back up, right hand comes behind you, lift the hips, counter stretch, left arm reaches up over your head. And exhale, hips come back down. Left sole of the foot comes back onto the mat, close to the hips. You're gonna pivot the feet for warrior three prep. The right leg is gonna shoot straight back, you're standing on your left leg. A little micro bend in the left knee, bring that right hip down just a little bit more. And then rise all the way up to standing, make your way into tree pose. Try not to touch your right foot down on the ground as you make your way there. Strong but calm and steady breath. Inhale, right knee to the chest, both arms reach up overhead. Exhale, chair pose. Feet are hip distance apart. Sink the hips down just a little bit more, reach the arms just a little bit higher. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, place the hands, step the feet back, high plank. And then we're gonna lower down onto the belly, but we're gonna do it for a count of five. So start to shift forward, engage the core and start to lower down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Belly comes all the way down, untuck the toes. Reach the arms out to your sides and inhale, lift the chest up, half locust. Exhale, lower down, let's do four more. Inhale, lift and lower, three, Two, last one, and lower. Either through high plank or child's pose, we'll meet in downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. 
push the ground away. Bend the left knee, open, stack the hips. Start to bend the right knee, the right heel lifts off. Exhale, left knee comes to the right wrist, pause here. Bring it up to the left armpit, again, pause. Flex the left foot, lizard lunge. Option to take this thigh stretch on the right side. If you do, then set down the right knee, start to bend the right leg, reach back with the left hand. And gently release the right foot if you had it held. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up. Side plank on the right. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Left foot lifts up off the right. Bend the left leg. Step it forward to the top of the mat, low lunge. Right knee touches down and interlace the hands behind the back for a little back bend. As you do so, continue to send the hips forward and down. Release two half splits. Start to straighten the left leg. Left toes up towards the sky. Five breaths here. Rebend the left knee, revolved side angle. Right palm comes down, lift the right knee up, left arm to the sky. Come on to the knife edge of the right foot, wild thing. Left leg steps behind the right calf. Right leg is straight, left leg is bent. Exhale, both hands down to the ground. Make your way into pigeon pose with the left leg forward. So left knee comes up towards the left wrist. Have a little bit of flexion in the left foot. And whenever you feel ready, start to walk the chest down. You can also keep the arms straight. Doesn't matter so much what's going on in the upper body. You want to focus a lot on the left hip. So as long as you feel sensation of a stretch in the left hip, then it's all good. Don't worry so much about how it looks. Last three breaths here. Bring your palms down, start to straighten the arms, and then sit onto the left hip. Keep that right leg straight, and then bring the left heel 
into the groin. Flex the right toes up towards the sky. Start to reach your left arm up over your head. Big side bend to the right. Begin to rise up again. Left palm comes behind you. Lift the hips, counter stretch. And set the hips down. And bring the right sole of the foot towards the left ankle. Pivot the feet for standing warrior three prep. Right leg is standing, left leg shoots straight back. Inhale slowly up to tree pose. Inhale, left knee to the chest. Both arms reach up to the sky. And exhale, chair pose. This time, feet together, big toes touch. Heels are a couple inches apart. And again, set the hips nice and low. Sink the hips nice and low. Option to stay here or start to lift the heels, come onto the toes. And set the heels back down if you had them lifted. All together, straighten the legs forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, place the hands, step the feet back, high plank. And this time we're gonna lower down to a count of 10. So option to set the knees down if you'd like. Start to shift forward and then begin to lower down. 10, nine, eight, Seven, your whole body's like a plank of wood from the crown of your head to your heels. Last five, four, three, two, and one. This time, interlace the hands behind the back. Untuck the toes. Inhale, locust with C arms. Both the legs and the chest lift off. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, Two, and one, release. The hands can come underneath the forehead, shake out the hips. And come onto your forearms, come into Sphinx pose. So the elbows are below the shoulders. You can take your legs wide, especially if you have any low back pain. Slight engagement of the glutes. We'll really begin to actively slow down the breath. Gently lower the chest down. We're gonna stay on our belly and do a prone supine twist. So we're gonna bring, you could either extend your right arm straight out to the right, or for a deeper stretch in the right shoulder, you could also bend the right arm 90 degrees like a cactus arm. So you might need to play around with the arm placement on the right side. But either way, you're gonna to start to bend the left leg and bring the left foot up and over behind you. 
Maybe the sole of the foot comes down onto the ground. Release, belly comes back down to the ground and switch over to the left. Left arm is either straight or you can cactus the arm. Right leg comes up and behind you. Release back to the belly. And now for our final pose of practice, we're actually just gonna come up to a seated position for a closing meditation. But if you have a few extra minutes, then I recommend that you just roll onto your back and take this meditation while you lay in Shavasana so that you can have a nice five to 10 minute Shavasana to close down your practice. So either way, Shavasana or a comfortable seat. Once you found a comfortable position, you can gently close down the eyes. And if you're sitting, then you're going to still sit nice and tall. But you're also relaxed. It's this happy balance of being steady and relaxed. Put all of your attention on the breath. Notice how the air is coming in through the nose, making its way into the lungs, and then moving back out. Nothing to judge, just observe the breath. So whether this practice today was super easy or incredibly challenging, we never look back on our practice with judgment. We look back with gratitude. Gratitude that we had the opportunity to wake up again today. the privilege to roll out our mat and devote this time to ourselves. Nothing but gratitude. We'll stay here for just about one more minute, putting your attention on the breath and focusing on the gratitude in your heart.
Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. It's my honor to be with you here on the mat and to guide you on the journey to your true self with endless love and gratitude. Namaste. Namaste.